Tacoma, Washington, forward Alexander Nixon. We'll try to get you an update here shortly. Here's a drive, just wide left. That one was from Megson. Alex. But I don't think he's had the opportunities that he did at the beginning. But he's a talented player and a lot of energy. And that's the problem. They're, t they're I mean, if he's coming here to see if they can draw him out a little bit to create some more space so the runners come in behind. We'll see what happens. What a great run by Megson. Now Alvarez on the volley. Robert Palmer now Alvarez rebound shot by Megson saved by Richie by Asadpour through to Megson tried to flip it over oh! header just goes wide and Megs is trying to get his fifth goal of the year he's you trying the give me my check there we've got technical support on the way here's San Luis through here. There's Harris with a chance. That one hit the post. Makes it battling with it in the center circle. Here comes St. Louis. You might and see two minutes here. Yeah, yeah. Up here it is. Anything from behind. Going up. And as soon as I saw the phone ring, my whole family just started screaming. So it's honestly a dream come true. Well, we wish you all the best and appreciate you stopping. And, and these guys have a couple new guys, but I mean, the core group of players is the same. I mean, right there, a new and player just scored. And Alex Megson just found the back of the net. It's now 22 to two. That's why you always sit at the back door because if somebody knocks, they're going in right there. <laughs> that is indoor soccer at its finest. Cody Andrews drove the ball to the back post and I'll tell you what, it doesn't get better than that. Watch this. Ryan, what do you think about this? He just drives the heck out perfect, of it. And he's sitting perfect there. Perfect indoor soccer goal. Hit the and ball as hard as you can, back post. There's guys that make a living at oh, yeah. the back post over the years, over the last 30 years. Number 11, Edward Centelese. Corner, send it across the middle in Chicago, ties the game. Boy, another good play by Mayer. Crossed over the penalty area, and I believe Numoski got the goal. Well, absolutely a uh, wonderful play there by Mayer again, getting the perfect cross and finding the riot player to, to bang that in. Good offense there by Mayer, and we've seen him distribute outstanding here all day, really kind of directing the offense, almost like a point guard in basketball, just distributing the ball. I beg your pardon, it was Alex Megson who got the goal for Chicago. To Megson, Megson's drive stuffed by a couple of players. Rebound front and center, another drive and a goal made by Chicago. Eric Lucan. Game of the season. Here's Megson weaving his way through the defense, leaves it for San Luis. Back into Megson, trying to heal it in, and Crody is there. To San Luis, San Luis fires, rebound shot, goal! Another one. And this one is Alex Megson. It's now eight to two. There's Braitwaite with a drive into the corner. San Luis there just turns, fires. Crote made the save, and then Megson comes in to clean it up. And the Comets lead eight to two. Makes in his seventh goal on the season. It's the second game he's had a, a goal. He had one of the two Comets goals last weekend against Baltimore. Even all their shots are in the crossbar now. Harris, it goes in! Brian Harris, another goal! It's now 18 to four. Take a look at it again. Gibson, excuse me, Megson's drive. 
was blocked or saved. I couldn't quite, but it was saved by Crody, and then there was Harris on the rebound. And it crosses the line, and Brian Harris tallies his 12th goal on this season. And that gets center to Harris. Into El Matador. Right side, Leo Gibson with a hat trick in the first half. Now on the volley, makes it. In the corner it goes. Megson is there. Whistle and a foul called against Byron Alvarez, I believe. That Williams marked closely by Leo Gibson. Here comes Megson. Williams splits the defense. Comes forward. Slides it over to Wanwuka in the right wing corner. Comet's able to knock it. Lucas in the middle to Megson. Megson battling with Kyle Martin and a foul called on Megson. And that's Alex's second foul. Alex Megson from Gig Harbor, Washington, the same town Danny Waltman is from. Stokic gets the block off Moret's drive. Megson is there trying to clear it for the Comets. Tyrone Hall. Wins it back for Pennsylvania. Oh, Margaret, that was close. Leo gets it back. Here's Gibson, toe poke again, save made by Crook. Leo is just sacrificing his body. Now Palmer, makes it! Alex jumps into the stands. The Comets have the lead, it's 12 to 11. Wow, what effort there by the Comets. Palmer with a drive. And then Megson finally able to tap it home past Crook. Good defense there by St. Louis. And boy, the Comets just kept on and kept at it. And finally able to crack the seal and get the lead again. There's Palmer's drive that hit the post. And prior to that, Gibson had two shots. At a critical moment, potential momentum shift. Tavernisi. Off the boards in front, to makes it go! Common cool on the celebration. His second of the night. And Tavernisi sets the table. 2-0-1, time of that goal. Yeah, Megson has personality, ain't afraid to celebrate. I love watching him scrap and get in there. Nothing like, uh, reminds me of Jeremy Ortiz in his day. Jeremy wasn't afraid to celebrate either. I remember him flubbing the dunk. He is with his feet into the left corner, off the glass. In front, Di Maria is there, being guarded by Megson, and Megson brings it out with some speed, trying to get it to Palmer, but Mike Mesley does a nice job. Gibson now. That looked like a handball, no call. On Megson, he retains possession. Oh, a nice move by... The ball is loose. Oh, Dane Sinclair with the fabulous nice work. work rate. Goes left side, and now with his left foot, comes all the way back across the field to Megson. What a play there. Megson, three-point try in front, tipped, and it just goes wide. Blocked there by Mattingly off the line. Vandegrift tries to clear. Rebound comes out there, and it was a you-got-it-you-got-it you got it play. Yeah. Jeff thought that Edison was going to hit that first time, and that will be a foul that one goes up and over anyway Adamson now taking his frustration out on Megson number 77 Kevin Kalish likewise oh oh that's dangerous that's going to be a two that's ouch a, that's definitely two minutes Megson with position there and it didn't look like it was intentional and he helps up Aguiar but boy that was a big league shoulder into the boards into the so boards we see it here again ow yeah Yep, yeah. you can use your body, but not to board a player. <laughs> not like that, no. And tries to go back, but that ball is stolen, and now it's a three-on-one. In front to Gibson, who waits, tries to tip it in, and a nice head ball off the keeper's line. That's beyond three-point range. Now has it stolen, and he drags down Megson. It's for next year, and tickets for that friendly match coming up. May 3rd against the St. Louis Lions. 30 seconds left, and we've got a foul. Both teams still playing pretty hard. Yep. Megson. Daryl told me prior to the game.